Which extracts from Aboriginal medicinal plants are used in modern medicine? Gallic and elagic acid are the main extracts from the kakadu plum. Gallic acid has been shown to cause contractile reactions and decrease vascular pressure in the theotic aorta. It can also create problems with other medicines used to assist those with high blood pressure. Gallic acid is also a highly effective antioxidant and is used as an astringent for internal hemorrhages. Gallic acid has been shown to cause apoptosis in cancer cells through mitochondria-mediated areas and targets cancer cells but ignores the normal cells. Gallic acid is mostly used as an intermediate for productions of pyrogalol used in food and pharmaceutical industries. Gallic acid is also a synthesis for trimethorpram, which is used in the treatment of bladder, ear infections, and traveler's diarrhea. Elagic acid has been found to enhance mental functions in overweight and obese people, effective at correcting discolorations in the skin, HPV preventions after six months when combined with graviola, and can assist in preventing the damages from chemo whilst allowing radiation to attack tumors, increasing survival chances. Dosages of elagic acid should be carefully administered as it is highly dependent on the patient's age and current level of health, and doesn't contain much warning about the dangers of overdosing. Glycerine is used in medicinal syrups and lozenges as a sweetener to make them taste better and easier to consume. Glycerine is also used as a laxative and can help with multiple intestinal procedures to clear away any blockages from the area. Glycerine is also used in lotions and other skin products to combat dry skin. The kakadu plum is a small to medium sized tree, normally 4 to 10 meters tall, containing thin inner layers of bark and red sap. Rough, creamy grey bark, flaky and finely tessellated. Leaves arranged in a spiral pattern get denser towards the branchlet. Kakadu plum is recognized by its olive shaped and egg shaped exterior. This fruit has been used and consumed by indigenous along the Northern Territory and Western Australian upper coasts. Snake vine is mostly herbaceous ground cover plant that can climb 30 centimeters high or four meters with support. Large yellow and gold flowers are present for most of the year amongst thick twisted stems of large dark green glossed over leaves. This plant can tolerate extreme conditions, including harsh colds and heat. The snake vine grows naturally along Australia's eastern coastal strip, extending to the eastern edge of our district, where it grows in the rainforests of the Great Dividing Range. Indigenous communities crushed certain sections of the vine and used it to cure headaches, rheumatoid arthritis, and other inflammatory ailments. The sap and leaves were used to treat sores and wounds. Indigenous people pounded the kakadu fruit and used it as an antiseptic and as a soothing balm for aching limbs. The kakadu plum is also a source of bush food and other healing remedies across the Aran lands. The original ab Aboriginal owners of the land that the kakadu plum grows are trying to hold on to control of the area because of where the tribe was originally situated. This is causing a problem with the Australian government as they are generating about $150 billion across global um, distribution of the kakadu plum for their medicinal purposes. This puts the Australian government in a difficult place as they are caught in the dilemma of losing a $150 billion business and dis respecting the original custodians of that area. So to answer my question, parts of the kakadu plum and the snake vine are used in medicines and medicinal practices in modern times. This shows the importance of bush life to the Aboriginal people for their surrounding plants as the kakadu plum was passed to them from the dream time and the snake vine was a major health benefit.